The good news out here is that nobody was hurt when this happened, which is pretty much a miracle considering the scope of damage we are seeing. Just take a look for yourself. Want to start with this right here. This massive tree, part of it still sitting on top of these two cars, this white one just completely crushed that damage. So significant right now. Right next to that, we've got this mess of leaves and limbs pretty much taking up the entire parking lot here behind me. Now, as you can tell, the cleanup process has started. Those crews have started chopping up this tree, trying to get it removed, but they still have ways to go. This thing is massive. And then right here, take a look at this, another car. The back window just completely smashed up. And then the building itself, the back side of that, all of these windows boarded up. We're actually seeing scratch marks on that building, presumably from this massive tree that toppled over and scared everybody inside. Like, that's terrible. Like, how do you explain that? Like, oh, I can't come to work because a tree fell on my car. <laughs> like, who wants to believe that? Devastated. I'm shocked. I'm overwhelmed. This is a lot. All of this happening around 1.30 in the morning, Tuesday, behind 30 Gillette Street in Hartford. And the immediate aftermath, this. Branches from that massive tree crashing into windows. This morning, the work continued to get things boarded up. I feel so bad that they're going through that because it's like we're everyday working class people. So for their lives to basically be altered in that way is just like just very devastating. Like your window being broken, you know, anybody could have gotten hurt. Thank God somebody wasn't in the car, you know. Want to give you a closer look at the damage out here. This white car completely smashed. Take a look at that. Very hard to look at. We have reached out to the leasing office trying to get in touch with the property manager to talk more about the cleanup process, the insurance situation, how those families displaced are doing today. Still waiting to hear back on that front. But of course, we'll keep you updated. Reporting in the capital city, I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.